Prime Minister Honorable Gaston Brown being welcomed into the venue at Friday's opening ceremony. This is the 75th anniversary of the Commonwealth and this meeting is historic in its own right. It is the first time that Chogum is being held in a South Pacific small island developing state and the first being attended by King Charles as head of the Commonwealth. The monarch, who is also head of the state of Antigua and Barbuda, praised the ideals which the grouping stands for. This is a family, or Inga, as our Simone hosts would say, of countries, of organizations, and of people. All nations are equal in this unique and voluntary association. His maiden summit as monarch came as the drumbeat of calls grows louder for reparations for Britain's brutal past in the transatlantic slave trade. There was this reference to the past. I understand from listening to people across the Commonwealth how the most painful aspects of our past continue to resonate. It is vital, therefore, that we understand our history to guide us to make the right choices in the future. Where inequalities exist, for example, in access to opportunity, to education, to skills training, uh, to employment, to health, and to a planet in whose climate our human race can both survive and thrive, we must find the right ways and the right language to address them. He also extolled the spirit of cooperation among the Commonwealth's 56 countries. As we look around the world and consider its many deeply concerning challenges, let us choose within our Commonwealth family the language of community and respect and reject the language of division. None of us can change the past, but we can commit with all our hearts to learning its lessons and to finding creative ways to right inequalities that endure. However, many African, Caribbean and Pacific nations want to see Britain and other European powers pay financial compensation for slavery or at least make political amends. They want this summit in particular to commit to a discussion on the topic of reparatory justice. It's an issue Prime Minister Honorable Gaston Brown has also been keen to raise during some of his bilateral discussions. In the meantime, Secretary General Patricia Scotland KC says the bloc has proven itself fit for purpose. For 75 years, we have demonstrated an unparalleled ability to confound the painful history which brought us together and sit together as equals.